Our first method is unorthodox way of solving it. So here in this question, AB is what is the limiting factor to find the area of rectangle. So if we'll change the figure, but still we'll keep the length of AB as same as six centimeter, then the area of rectangle should not change. Let's expand this rectangle a bit. Now here we have expanded the rectangle, but let's say we have changed the quadrant size such that the AB still remains the same six centimeter. Now here the question language is not changing and thus the area of rectangle for this figure also should come same. How about if we'll expand it a bit more to cover the full quadrant. Now here in this figure, the question and its language still remains the same. We have to find the area of rectangle, but here it's easier to calculate. Here in this triangle OBA, we'll apply Pythagoras theorem, putting the value of OA and OB as R. Solving it, we'll get the value of R square as 18. And R square in this case is what is representing the area of rectangle. And thus area of rectangle is nothing but 18 centimeter square. Let's check the second way of solving it. Let's assume the length of the rectangle is L, the height of the rectangle that will be same as the radius of the quadrant. And thus the area of rectangle will be nothing but L times of R. Now to get the value of L times R, so what we'll be doing is we are dropping a perpendicular from O on AB. And uh, this triangle that's OAB, it's an isosceles triangle because OA and OB both are equals to R. And in isosceles triangle, the altitude is also a median. And thus BD and DA will be equals to each other. So BD will be 3 cm and DA will be 3 cm. Let's talk about the triangle ODA, that's this blue triangle, and triangle BCA, that's this pink triangle. So in these two triangles, this angle A, this is common and both have got angle 90 degree in them. So by angle angle similarity, both the triangles, the blue and pink one, these are similar to each other. And thus the ratio of sides will be equal. So we can say that OA upon OA upon DA. So OA upon DA will be equals to BA upon CA. Now here we'll put the values. OA, OA is nothing but the radius R and DA is three. So R upon three will be equals to BA, which is six and CA is L. So R upon three is equals to six upon L. Solving it, we'll get R times L is 18. And this L times R, this is same as the area of the rectangle. And thus the area of rectangle is nothing but 18 centimeter square. Let's check the third way of solving the same question. Now here we know OA is R and thus OC, OC will be R minus L. We have two right angle triangles are there. Let's talk about triangle BCA first. So applying Pythagoras theorem, we get BC square plus CA square is equals to BA square. Putting the values of CA and BA, we'll get BC square plus L square is equals to six square. Let's keep this observation. Let's take second triangle, that's triangle OBC. So in this triangle OBC, applying Pythagoras theorem, we'll get OC square plus BC square is equals to OB square. Let's put the values here. So we'll put OB as R and uh, OC as R minus L. So we'll get R minus L square plus BC square equals to R square. Let's apply A minus B whole square. So we'll get R square plus L square minus 2RL plus BC square equals to R square. Now both the side R square will get cancelled down. So simplifying it, we'll get L square minus 2 times RL plus BC square is equals to 0. Now here we'll put the value of L square plus BC square from our first observation. So L square plus BC square is 6 square. So 6 square minus 2 RL is 0. Solving it, we'll get 2 RL as 36 or R times L as 18. And R times L is nothing but area of rectangle. And that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I'll see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.